Okay, listen, don't fire your boss just yet. As much as you hate his guts or her guts, maybe, and as much as you want to smash him in the face with your keyboard, <laughs> the truth is that for the time being, you need your boss and you need your job and you need your paycheck. I'm just telling you the straight, direct truth here. Hang in there for just a little bit longer. You can fire your boss soon enough. In the meantime, what I suggest you do is plot your escape. It's kind of like escaping Alcatraz, right? Start by deciding what kinds of people you want to serve as customers in your online business. So who is it that you want to serve in your online business? Do you want to work with, I don't know, off the top of my head, urban planners or dentists or, I don't know, expectant mothers maybe? What sorts of people do you want to work with and serve day in and day out all day long in your online business? Figure that out. Next, the next part of your escape plan is to find out what sorts of challenges and problems the sorts of people that you want to help and serve have. Figure out if any of the things that they're wrestling with could be potential business opportunities. Here's what a viable business opportunity means. Number one, does the solution to any of these problems intersect in any way with your unique set of skills, knowledge, and abilities? Number two, will these sorts of people pay for a solution to any of their problems? And finally, number three, can you engineer a solution or a fix that you could sell to them at enough of a profit to make the whole thing worthwhile? The next thing you need to do is think up some kind of business name, but truthfully, the name of your business doesn't really matter. But I don't know, maybe make sure that it somehow relates to your solution or your product or your audience or something like this. And this leads you and I perfectly into the next step of your escape plan. The next step of your escape plan is to register your domain name. And this one is easy and it only takes a few minutes and it only costs you a few bucks. Check out the show notes down below. And what I'll do there is I'll leave some links to some tutorials and recommendations where you and I walk through the simple domain name registration process. Next up, and maybe this is a bit of a detour, business cards. All right, fine. If you want to get business cards, go ahead and get business cards if it makes the whole thing feel more official for you. But keep this simple and don't spend a lot of time or money here. And definitely don't let this devolve into an exercise in vanity. Forget foil embossments or UV coat finishes or any of that nonsense. Just on the business card, tell us what the heck you do. Tell us how to contact you. That's it. Continuing our detour for a moment, and actually before your business card detour, what about a logo for your business? Maybe that should come before a potential business card detour. Once again, okay, fine, but for God's sakes, once again, don't spend a lot of time or money here. A really great, clever logo, I mean, that's awesome for yourself, but it does not guarantee that your business idea will be successful. Just like your business cards and stationery and embroidered swag and new office furniture, this whole logo project can quickly careen out of control into a deep and very unnecessary exercise in vanity. In terms of what you need to know, the short version is that your business's logo is simply an emblem for your business. That's it. This means that at least starting out Good enough is good enough. I hear all the designers on the planet yelling at me, but that is the truth. It doesn't really matter. Just, I don't know, hire someone on Fiverr or 99designs, throw 50 bucks at it and call it a day. You can always come back and rebrand and unveil your $500,000 logo after you're a multimillionaire, right? So what matters right now most is sales. Okay, now here's the next step in your escape plan. If you're ready to take the next big steps forward in all of this, then head on over to 10tononline.com forward slash free and enroll in your free online business workshop. This free self-paced online class contains loads of clear, deep insights to getting your online business set up and running. I know you're going to enjoy it. So bring all your business ideas, top up your coffee, bring something to jot some notes with, and I'll see you over there in just a second.